do you see from Rocco? And, and I know you probably worked with him and all that, but just things he can do, things that things other guys here, JJ. I mean, you got some good incoming guys. Just what do you see from the room? Man, I'm impressed with the room. Um, obviously, being with them last year, uh, spending every day with them, and, and Rocco, and you know, just getting kind of thrown into the fire there. Um, yeah, really impressed with what he can do. He uh, he's grown so much from the first start at UNI till now. And, um, but yeah, he's extremely accurate, throw of the football, uh, intelligent football player, um, growing every single day in, in everything he does, which is super positive. And um, you know, keep talking with him about his process and you know what is going to take you to the next level and, and doing the things. And he's he's been great. Um, then the younger guys, JJ's been awesome. Probably the two best practices that he's had since he's been here uh, to start spring, which is extremely positive um, for him kind of being in that backup role all year and learning from Rocco learning how to you know just be a college football player and uh, deal with everything um, he's been awesome and then uh, Connor Connor's been extremely impressive the, his first two practices you know um, you can tell he's been in a you know really really good football program and, and a winner and understands football and can throw it and, and run around and be a really really good athlete too so really impressed with the room and we you know we have few others. Tanner Tanner Hughes has been doing really well. Major Cantrell is a walk on from Oklahoma that, that is, you know, showing signs where he's a really, really good player too. And then Wyatt Baum is hurt. But uh, oh, with the room, really, really impressed with what they can do and, uh, you know, fortunate to, to be able to coach him for sure. How have you gone about establishing your own unique relationship with Rocco now that you are leading the, the group? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a little different. Obviously, being in the role I was last year, I was the, you know, everything that Coach Shieldhouse had to do as an offensive coordinator. I was kind of I filled the role in the best way possible. Um, but now for for me and him, it's kind of getting a, a deeper relationship with everything kind of outside of football as well. Um, but then kind of just how I see things, how I coach things, my experiences, and then you know truly leaning on him as well. That he has had a year of experience, a lot of. A lot of good. He struggled a little bit, and he, he worked through it. Um, but to to be able to kind of grow that relationship with him and take it to a deeper level, talk more, man, leadership, everything outside of just throwing the football, um, kind of taking that route with him. And he, he's been incredible. Um, he knows who he is as a person, which makes it awesome to be able to for him to to take conservatism, con con good, bad, um, and then be a really good leader. Like he's never. You know, he had some success last year, and he hasn't changed one bit. He's obviously, I think he's working harder and, and taking more of a more of a, a role and, and knowing that everyone's kind of looking at him. But being able to just dig deeper in the, you know, the personal side and everything else is, is kind of where I'm going with him. You talked briefly there about learning how you want to coach him. What is your style of coaching with the different players in the room? Yeah, you, gotta, you just got to learn how each kid learns, whether it's, you know, on the board where they have to write the play and talk through a play or it's on, you know, in the film or getting out on the field and actually walking through and, and doing things like that. But, uh, but, yeah, learning how, you know, I coach with, with them is um, going to be extremely honest with them about what they are doing well. I'm going to celebrate when they do really well and then tell them when they need to be better and what they can do to be better, too. So, uh, you know, just being extremely transparent, honest, and then open communication. I want them to come and tell me how they're feeling with, you know, the way I'm coaching something or telling something. I want to be able to, to kind of work with them and meet them halfway, too. Last one for me. You talked a little bit earlier, right, about how much you've seen Rocco improve um, from the UNI game to where he's at today. But specifically within the off season, where do you think you've seen him kind of improve the most, whether it's physically or intangibly? Yeah, well, physically he looks great. Uh, he uh, his body is probably the best it's been. He's put on a little bit of weight, um, but I, I would say everything outside of football. Obviously, the knowledge of the offense. He knows where everyone's supposed to be at. He knows when something's not right. He knows where you know receiver split need to be man two yards wider, two yards tighter, um, or how they want to run a route. Now, being a little bit more vocal in everything he does, being a you know that much better of a leader where he's been it, he's done it. He he can see when he knows when it's not doesn't feel right or. Uh, doesn't look right, and now he's able to to talk more and kind of challenge him in that way too. That you know you got to be the leader in every aspect, and you know when you're in the weight room, when you're man upstairs eating, you're doing everything. You're you're the guy everyone's looking to. Um, so that that's his biggest growth is just that you know every single thing that Rocco Beck does is he's being watched and he's taken as a challenge, and he's been he's been awesome so far. With you having played high level college football not too long ago. Um, how do you impart some of your wisdom, like, you know, 
when I experienced this situation, here's what I did to get through it. But at the same time, knowing that it's probably a fine line, you, you want them to be in the moment and deal with things the way, as it comes to them. But there are probably times where, wow, this is a really relatable thing. I can share a story with you, but you don't want to overdo it at the same time. For sure, yeah. I, you don't want to just sit in there and talk about me, me, me. But there, there are some, some things that came up, you know, even throughout last year that was like, man, I had a very, very similar you know, experience happened, I didn't handle it the right way, or I did. And, you know, there were a couple of times where, you know, I was just telling the quarterbacks a story the other day when we were playing Oklahoma State, and I didn't handle something the right way that came up. And, you know, to be able to give those experiences to those guys and, you know, from being in their shoes not too long ago, but also knowing that they, they are different and, you know, things are different, not doing too much, but when it, when it does happen and, it, you know, an experience is very relatable, I think it's awesome for them to hear kind of for me. Now I can take a step back and kind of, all right, man, I would have done something a little bit different or, hey, here's how I handle it. Here's how I had to work through this adversity. Um, so I do think that's really important. They, they really respect that too.